Today, Killala means fish. In the winter, whitefish. In the summer, the little boats put out to drift for salmon. Moy salmon, salmon making for the breeder streams upriver after two years or more in the Atlantic. But why do men hunt at sea for a fish that's making for a freshwater river where it can be more easily caught? Well, the answer is private ownership. Out here in the salt water of the bay, the salmon belongs to no one. Between the banks of a river, it's owned by the man who has the riparian rights or the right to fish. So the men of Kalala go out at night with drift nets. They've done so for close on a century. They pay a small license fee, 108 of them, to the Ballina Board of Conservators. And it's estimated that in a season, the Kalala men and boats from other little ports around the estuary catch about 60,000 fish in the open sea. They work at night because the homing salmon are less likely to see the fine mesh of their nets in the darkness. And a fine night does not improve their chances. The technique of drift netting is simple. A long net, the law here says it should be 800 yards, is paid out over the boat side. One edge of it is caught to enable it to float on the sea surface. The remainder hangs below, a barrier to the incoming home-seeking salmon, who, when they strike it, are gill-trapped in the mesh. That is buoyed and marked and then allowed to drift with the tide. Net out and engine cut, the long wait in the small hours. and at dawn they haul to discover what their catch is, what damage has been done by sharks or seals, whether their night has been worthwhile or not. It's hard graft, this, and the economics of such fishing for a boat and crew of four are sometimes questioned. Drift netting has become a contentious business, disapproved of by the angler, draft net men and conservationists who have seen in the rising success of the drift nets a coincidental fall off in their own catches. It's a problem of cake sharing which we Irish have yet to solve. And it's made the more urgent by the worldwide decline in salmon stocks. But signs on it, this could be the last generation of drift netters in these islands. The boat docks around eight or nine in the morning. She's been out 12 hours and her catch at this, the butt end of the season, 17 fish, about 50 quid for it. Most of the salmon we eat is caught on the drift by men like these. It's only when you leave Kalala that you become aware that this whole part of the bay